so for breakfast on Tuesday I made oats normally I make oats for breakfast it's just half a cup of oats some chia seeds and also some maca powder a heaped teaspoon I then added some water and stirred until it was all mixed together then popped it in the microwave for three minutes and then here you just see the countdown three two one beep, beep. <laughs> I'm going to add a Brazil nut, chop it up and add it to my porridge. This is a really high in selenium. I also added two dates for sweetness. I chopped these up and added them to the bowl too. I then added some frozen blueberries. These are really nice to add some volume and, well, it's nice to get some antioxidants in in the morning. Sprinkle of cinnamon and voila, there you have it. That was my breakfast Tuesday morning. We then went for coffee at this little cafe that we like to go to. We had uh, two oat milk white coffees before heading to the gym. For lunch that day we were heading out so I packed up two salads with roasted sweet potatoes, tofu and a tahini dressing. For dinner that night we made a cauliflower fried rice while we sat and watched the girls from The Vegan View. <sighs> I'm having a shit day. Nothing happened. I woke up this morning with a headache and I don't know. I'm just having a shit day. You're literally on my air fryer and on a pot of sugar. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep it real with you guys. I think everyone has days like this. Woke up this morning with a headache. I hadn't slept very well all night and the, the cats were misbehaving, whatever. Then I wasn't hungry, so I cried because I wasn't hungry. Weird. Because if you're not hungry, you just move on with your day. The weather is shit. It's cloudy and miserable and rainy and cold, but on Sunday it was so hot I was in a bikini and shorts and now it's like 10 degrees. So the weather took a turn for the worst. We supposedly started a diet. We did. Today's day two of the kind of diet. It was kind of speak English. It was supposed to start Monday, but it was my little sister's 15th birthday. So we went out. I was supposed to be filming this week, uh, what I eat in a week to lose weight. Um, so I had to start a day late. Hiccup in my day yesterday, I'm not gonna go into that. And then today I woke up, I wasn't hungry for breakfast, so I had a coffee. And then I got up and I put some clothes on we went to buy some light bulbs because all my bulbs in my house are going out one by one. <sighs> And then we were supposed to go to the gym and we sat outside the gym in the car for maybe 10 minutes and I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I, I was like, no babe, I can't, I can't do it. You know, you have days you really haven't bothered and you go and you feel good. I just knew that I was gonna go in and I was still gonna feel as shit as I felt then as I did now or whatever, so. We came home and I lay on the sofa and cried some more because it was lunchtime. I was hungry, but not really hungry. I didn't know what to cook, I didn't really want to cook, so I was crying some more. And then made some potatoes, which evidently I forgot to film. So here's the leftovers. I made hummus and roasted potatoes in my air fryer over a salad. I forgot to film them and I didn't realize until after I had finished them that I forgot to film them. So I had messed up my video for this week. <laughs> oh, we bought bulbs and I wanted warm lights because I like when my house feels cozy, but they look like you were in a reptile zoo. They were like yellow, yellow. So I'd cry about that. <laughs> Oh, my kitchen is a mess, in case you have spied it in the background. <laughs> I can't believe I'm filming any of this. I'm back. I'm drinking some lemon water. I've realised I haven't drunk that much today. Could be another reason why I'm feeling like shit. <laughs> I've showered, I'm feeling a little bit better. I've oiled my face, I feel good. Like Okay, Hannah, just put Robin aside. And it doesn't make it any easier because it feels a little like, oh, <laughs> Onions. So now I'm just adding a diced onion to a pan. 
Also chopping up some garlic and then I'm going to fry off the onions with some stock. I always use vegetable stock when frying any of my food, I don't use oil. I then add the garlic, spices, half tin of tomatoes, three potatoes, more stock and water. Once the curry had come to a boil, I turned it to simmer so the potatoes could fully cook. I then added a few dollops of Alpro coconut yogurt, kale and cooked lentils. I served on a side of green beans. So for breakfast on Thursday, uh, I made what I like to call cold oats. So it's just half a cup of oats, some chia seeds and maca powder and then I mixed it in until it was all combined. I then added some water. The trick with this is to add not too much water. So you kind of just add as you're stirring until the water just sits slightly above the oats. And then just stirred and cleaned off the sides of the bowls so that it was equally distributed. I chopped up some Brazil nuts. Uh, I'm using two small Brazil nuts here. Um, I like to add a lot of nuts in my cold oats makes more of like a granola style dish. I next added in a mixture of seeds. This is a pumpkin seeds, poppy seeds, sunflower seeds. I chopped up two dates for some sweetness. I really love dates. If you haven't tried them in your porridge, I definitely say give it a go. I next chopped up half a banana, peeled off the skin, sliced it up and added that to the bowl as well. I next added some frozen blueberries. I pretty much add these to every single one of my porridge dishes. It helps add volume as well as a nice boost of antioxidants in the morning. I sprinkled on some cinnamon because, well, really just love cinnamon and a drizzle of agave syrup. This is the uh, final product. For lunch that day we made butter bowls, I added some broccoli, green beans, roasted butternut squash, mushrooms, cucumber tomatoes, avocado and a nice big dollop of oil free hummus. This is a snack I had a little bit later on, it was a coconut alpro soy yogurt, frozen blueberries, half a banana, cinnamon dates and some oats. For some strange reason I don't have a dinner for this day, I just mustn't have recorded it. For breakfast on Friday, the same as what I had on Thursday, just curled oats with mixed nuts, bananas and frozen blueberries. And then this is my lunch, Friday afternoon I had a chickpea scramble with mixed veg, avocado and toast. Here I am showing you some chocolate, funny enough this is the only square that you see me eating. I did eat a whole bar, oops. <laughs> Nachos tonight. I bought some corn tortillas. I got some chili left over from last night. Avocado. I've got a couple of kombuchas. And then I'm gonna have to get some vegan cheese. It's not the health healthiest. I meant to say healthiest. It got cut off. I don't know why. Ah <sighs> dear. We're back here again. The reason why was because I'm a failure. <laughs> this was supposed to be what I eat in a week. When I made some air fried potatoes. Did I film it? No. So, here are some air fried potatoes. <laughs> the ones that are left. Some oil free hummus. This is a pre dinner snack. I had Three bits of toast with like a chickpea tuna style thing on top. Bits of toast with a little bit of tomato puree. And then for lunch, I had some porridge, which I did manage to film. And for a snack, I'm having one potato chopped up and fried in the air fryer. This week's been a bit of a fail. I'm gonna blow it anyway because, well, Otherwise, I've got nothing to upload. <laughs> I had a breakdown on Tuesday. Monday was my sister's birthday. Thursday, 
I managed to film. Friday got my period, so I didn't eat like a whole bar of chocolate, which I didn't film. <laughs> oh, Friday, I went to a friend's house to see her and her baby, and we had nachos. I didn't film it, so I'm really good at this YouTube thing. Yeah, this week's been a bit of a fail. I've only been to the gym like twice. So these things happen. I meant to start my diet and my like intense, like, <laughs> can't even speak English. Uh, I was meant to start. Why did I try? Why did I even bother me? I was supposed to be up in the training volume, the frequency. That didn't happen. I forgot to fill my food again, so I've got a plate of half eaten food. And I'm the queen of making things look not aesthetically pleasing, but whatever. I made some black bean burgers that contained some walnuts, flax seeds, oats. Um, and then spices, I put some vegan cheese on top and then I've got a mixture of vegetables, red onion, broccoli, courgette and peas. And I've got some homemade hummus and some tomato puree. And um, yeah. <laughs>